Hello again! Today I'll be taking a look at tardigrades from a creek. They're a really nice looking aquatic tardigrade, but they have something interesting going on in them that I haven't seen before in terrestrial tardigrades. So let's take a look. This is the first tardigrade I found from my creek, and something I like about these aquatic tardigrades is that they have fairly long back legs, longer than a terrestrial tardigrade. And the legs seem to point in slightly opposite directions, which is nice. They also have these long claws, a bit like milesiums. But you'll notice something odd about this tardigrade. What are all these dark objects floating around in the body? Is the tardigrade injured or unhealthy? Or has something come along and parasitized it? Maybe there's a problem with the digestive system and the food has come out of its stomach somehow? So I sent some of these photos to a tardigrade researcher and asked if he knew what was going on. He suggested that the objects might be algae and plant material in the digestive tract and recommended keeping the tardigrade isolated from a food source for a few days and seeing if the objects would clear the body. Unfortunately, by the time I got that reply, I'd already returned the tardigrade to the creek. But luckily, I was able to find a really similar one a few days later which was showing the same objects just drifting around the body. So as suggested, I kept it in a small petri dish with only deionized water and no food source. It remained in the petri dish for six days, and I photographed and filmed it on days one, three, and six. On day six, I returned it to the creek water with the sediment and plant matter because I didn't want to risk it dying. Now this is day one while I was still in the creek water. You can see the objects collected near the back legs and sometimes moving into the legs. In this photo, we can even see one of the objects up higher between the second and third pair of legs. Now day three, here's the tardigrade at lower magnification to start with. We can see the really wonderful way that it moves and those great long back legs. And it seems like it has even more of the dark material around its body. The stomach contents appear yellow now, and we can see this dark object around the esophagus and at the start of the midgut. There's something different further down as well. It looks a bit like a cluster of cells. And then there's more objects at the end of the body too. Now moving on to day six, and the tardigrade looks very different again. We see this section like a dense cluster of cells is still there, and there's a large amount of the dark material at the lower part of the digestive tract too. So over the six days, some of the objects have been cleared or changed position, so that would suggest that it's digestive material. But then why are pieces of it drifting around? They seem to be outside the digestive tract. So do these creek tardigrades have a larger digestive tract? Do they store digestive material in other parts of the body for some reason? Or is this something different? I don't think we can draw any solid conclusions yet, but I'd love to hear more suggestions, especially from people with a little more microscopy expertise. I'm hoping I can find more of these creek tardigrades with the same characteristic and keep looking into it. I think another good step might be to keep the tardigrade in a dish with a controlled food source, like the algae chlorella, and see how that turns out. But I think that's an experiment I'll come back to. So I hope you enjoyed this video about these lovely creek tardigrades. Thanks for watching.